Hey everybody, Leah Sakino here. Um, I want to do, as you can tell by the screen, a Draw My Life video. Sorry, I haven't done this yet. Um, life has just gotten so crazy and... Yeah, um, so that's what I want to do today and this is going to be a premiere video as you guys can see. So, yeah, let's get started. And anyway, so I was born in March of 96. So, yeah. I I am now so that was 22 years ago for me. Oops. <laughs> I have My dad, that looks totally nasty. And my mom. Yeah, I know a lot of people use a lot, like, whiteboards and stuff. I don't have one, so I'm using Microsoft Paint for this. So I have my dad and my mom. They are, I love them to death. They are amazing. They really do support me. in everything I do. Again, I do that. And then I have three sisters. Three sisters. And no brothers. There's my older sister. She's married. And she has my two little nieces. Then there's my second older sister. You've met this one already. She's been on my channel a few times. This is Theodore
and then there's my and then there's me I'm the third I, apparently that's how I want to write do myself right now because that's how I feel and then Here is Mia. And there's my family. So Life has been really good. Oh, I can't go back anymore. So I'll have to uh, paint. No, oh. I think that's good. All right. So yeah, my first memory I can't spell today. Was well, of course my first memory is actually watching sitting down is actually um my older sisters it was actually when I was three years old. So I was three And my sisters were wa sitting down watching TV before and after school, and they were watching Sailor Moon, the original 90s Sailor Moon, and the original dub. And I just remember liking it, and it was really good and my dad always said that stuff like Sailor Moon, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Naruto, so yeah. I knew it was anime for a while so I, I've been a big fan of anime ever since I was three years old. So yeah. Huh. And uh, going into school, I was very, very friendly. I like to make friends with everyone. So anytime when somebody was crying, I'd, I'd be a friend. That's a big head. <laughs> That's a big potato head. I'd come over. I'd like rush over to help to help them and stuff. I was like very friendly towards everyone at school. Like and so yeah. And but at school I wasn't very smart. I wasn't I didn't get the uh, A plus on tests and stuff. I had to go in and see a, a resource teacher so to get extra help. But I really didn't mind that. It didn't put me down because I didn't actually feel any different from the normal kids but I knew somebody who felt different than the other kids who was my friend
but we used to hang out in uh, the resource class and we would be normally set as partners and in elementary school we were the best of friends and we would hang out almost all the time at recess it wouldn't matter But when the time got to fifth grade, we had met somebody else. And by the end of fifth grade, my friend from resource had a move. And well, I tested out of resource, but I still wasn't getting the good grades and the friend that I had made in fifth grade well she was talking to started talking to another group who considered them to be the popular or the cool kids of the school and well let's just say I normally sat with duty here and we would have talked and we would talk but eventually I would get up to do something else but then at least three of them would come walk so they would come over to me and well they would start bullying me eventually got really really bad that I actually was contemplating about committing suicide. But Mia came in and actually stopped me from doing it. some pretty long legs. We talked for a bit. And then my mom came in. We talked about it too with my mom. And 
end. I actually managed to get through the rest of sixth grade. Well, and then I moved on to seventh and to junior high. And that's where I met my friends, my true friends. I met, that's where I met my first cosplay group. I was really happy to have met all of them. There's, I actually met my friend Ego, her, that's her cos, was her cosplay name. And I totally butchered that face. We actually met in science. I butchered science, spe spelling of science, so. So we met in our science class and we, we like clicked right away and it was fun. And then I met I met um, Blissful Cacophony. Her name in our original cosplay group was Sam. At that point in time, that was that's a terrible face, but oh well. Her, I met her and our friend and our uh, friend uh, and our other friend in choir. And then come eighth grade. I noticed um, them sitting at lunch so I came and sat next to them, and that's where I met two other people. Um, we met Nia, I met Nia, and our friend Aqua, that's their cosplay names from our uh, original group, our first, my first cosplay group. And then I moved on to ninth grade. It was so much fun. Theater was I took a theater class and we were and like almost all of us were in it and we did so many plays and we did two shows and it was so fun to do and then we did a theater troupe at the end of, over the summer and it was so much fun and then the next summer well before I get into that I need to explain what happened when I entered or after I entered high school. So high school was a, a bit of a challenge for me. Like things changed on me. At the beginning of high school I was doing fine everything 
was going well. I was a part of the theater tech for the theater department and things were going great. I auditioned for one of the shows for the spring production. However, it everything that was everything that was okay, everything that was going up eventually was going down. Now I'm going to write a date. I forgot to turn it off, okay. I can't spell. Okay, this is the date that I have written. Now before this date, I was at a cosplay gathering. that building minor car accident. Somebody just tapped the bumper of my dad's car because they were speeding. I went laser tagging with my youth group and yes, I am religious. So please, but I will put, I will say a few things later in the video. I ate and made Chinese dumplings in my Chinese class. I went to school. Now I'm going to put down here
This was all done in a week. Now, in the next thing, I'm going to say what happened on that day. I had a ruptured appendix. And if you don't believe me, I did. And let me just tell you this. I don't know if that's how you spell tolerance. I'll just check that real quick. Yep. I had so I have a very high pain tolerance the nurse and the doctor and the surgeon who took out my appendix told me I have a very very high pain tolerance and I went for a week without showing any sign that I was sick or in pain until that day that I was very very sick and showing a, and showing a high sign of appendicitis. Here's another thing I'm going to say. I was so sick that I was actually within three hours of passing away. It was scary. It was scary to hear that. And After the surgery, I I couldn't thank the surgeon enough for saving my life because one of the nurses that took my file, she was like, she didn't want to even help me. She thought I was fine and wanted to send me home. Because I was, I couldn't feel the pain. But I knew I was sick.
because I had been throwing up multiple, multiple times. It... I just... Not... I, I was in the hospital for five days. And I spent a lot of time at home, away from school. But I still had my friends who came and came and visited me at home or in the hospital. It was lovely to have them to have them come and visit me. And going back to my religious thing, I am a Latter Day Saint. Okay. I am Elias. I know we're, they're not, I'm not supposed to be calling myself that anymore, but I, and I might, I'm probably going to get hate for saying this, but please don't judge me too much. It really did scare me to be within three hours of dying. My dad, gave me a blessing of healing. In that blessing, he told me that it wasn't my time yet. And that I would be okay. However, in that blessing, I also felt like I also knew that several other challenges and trials were going to be coming in the future. And in this video, I'm going to talk about those challenges and, and how they affect me. And I'm just... And I'm glad that I have you guys to back me up and to have your support. Because I'm only 21 minutes into this video and I'm already crying. So, anyway, I'm going to continue on this video just to get it done. So, um, after that, I, it g moves on to, Eleventh grade year for me. I start going to school again. However, oh no, going back to the summer thing. I keep going back summer, so rewind. <laughs> going back to summer. So, in the summer, we did the play, the theater troupe play again thing, and that's where I met my best friend. That's where I met that's where I met Creative Silence. Like, one day we were talk I was talking to a uh, blissful cacophony about Soul Eater because we were going to cosplay a Soul Amaka and she overheard us talking and she's like, you guys are talking about Soul Eater? I love Soul Eater. And so we both sat down with her and we talked about Soul Eater and it was a very fast conversation and it was a very fast conversation. It was a fast friendship and yeah, it, it was very fun to talk to her and like, that year was just full of uh, new friendships and new bonds and I'm really glad that I met Creative Silence then because I don't know if where, where I'd be now without a 
awesome best friend like creative. Now I'm back to uh, 11th grade year. So 11th grade year, um, I, I was like so down and depressed, like I was so down and like not feeling so well that like I kept thinking about the past. But what really got me was how much my stomach was hurting and how much I couldn't eat. Like, I take this. This is my plate of food. I would only eat that much. And I'd be full. My parents found that weird, but it would continue to happen and I would continue to stay home from school. So the principal at the school was like, that can't be happening. You're just missing too much school. So he set up a plan for me and my parents and a meeting to go over a way for me to continue school. So the way I had to continue school was called a home hospital program. What that is, is I had a teacher who came to my house and basically just taught me, gave me homework, taught me what I needed to know, and basically that was it. What I really needed help in was math, so she gave me that extra help I needed. But that continued on through and then in September of the same year in 2012 I was diagnosed with a condition that affects your stomach, makes it paralyzed, so you can't digest food very well. It's called gastroparesis. Now, if you guys have been on my channel long, I have made a video regarding gastroparesis and everything, so, well, it's about faces of gastroparesis, so yeah, it's, it, I might, I'll probably be doing more videos kind of like that, and especially to raise awareness for these conditions that I have that I will be listing here in this video. But yeah. But it pro but my uh in the home hospital program it 
it doesn't go it goes into my 12th grade year because I had felt so sick and like I kept getting dizzy I kept passing out I couldn't I wasn't myself so I was put on the home hospital program again and I was tested for a condition called dysautonomia. Now dysautonomia affects your entire autonomic nervous system. So the stuff you can't, you don't think about, like your breathing, your lungs, your heart, your brain. It's it's like I never liked that principal at the school and they didn't really help me so the counselor at my other high school she didn't think I was gonna be able to graduate so yeah so she didn't think so she didn't think I was gonna be able to graduate So she had me moved to this different school, which helped me. A lot to where I could graduate. I was still on the home hospital program, but you know what? The school I went to helped me so much better than the high school I was at and they understood my conditions a lot better. But come 2014 or 2015, I can't remember on top of my head exactly the year because once you have so many conditions, the years just collide and I just hate it. I was diagnosed with another condition called with a condition called Chiari malformation and what that is I cannot I don't know if I'll be able to draw this correctly is here's your spinal column that's my attempt of a brain let me draw it better. Okay. Here's your brain. The brain is slipping down into your spinal column and it's pu putting pressure down and it's causing a lot of headaches for me and it's making me feel unbalanced and my legs are very unbalanced in the first place. But I also have another condition that they were thought, first thought was joint hypermobility syndrome. However, It still is a type joint hypermobility syndrome, but it is actually called Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Now. With Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, there are multiple types of it. You can... You have to go and see a doctor to get tested for Ehlers-Danlos for the joint, joint helper mobility type, but the type that my doctor think, some of my doctors think I have 
is the vascular type, which is connected to the brain and the heart, which, yeah. And if you do ask me if I have asked to get dis disability, I have, and I went to go fight it, but I've been denied. And I have had a lawyer to go get disability. I was denied twice by a judge. And then my attorney just recently dropped me and he wants me to go sue the judge who denied me twice and I don't want to do that so I'm gonna to have to refile again so I'm gonna to have to go refile and I'm just here just completely stressed about this and I just don't know what else to do but yeah so, but if you want to know what my doctors think, all of these, the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, the Chiari Malformation, well, another thing about the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and the Chiari Malformation, they are genetic. So, well, the Chiari Malformation is not genetic. It's just, I probably had it since, I've had it for a long time, it just shown, it's just shown up. I've probably had it since I was a kid, since I was probably born. It just barely showed up till now. The other Stanlow syndrome is a, gene a gener generic syndrome. It's like m either my family, my dad and my mom have had it or has it, or their, my grandma, grandpa, whoever has it, but, yeah, but it's like the gastropresius, the dysautonomia are probably, so, sorry about that, but my doctors think that the dysautonomia and the like they think that all of these have just awoke, just have come out because of my burst appendix and stuff. So yeah, it's really interesting to see how that how they think that. But yeah, so. And you guys know where I what I do for work. I am um, this year. I'm a lunch aide. And a recess supervisor. Plus I'm a cosplayer and I've been cosplaying since two thousand eleven. That was actually my very first anime bonsai that I ever went to, my very first convention. And I've been trying to go to it ever since, to anime bonsai ever since. And it was some it's anime bonsai is so much fun it's my favorite convention i've gone to like man i love anime bonsai and this year i had so much fun and i've been youtubing Oh man, how long have I been YouTubing? I'm gonna have to go look that up. I think I've been YouTubing since 2013, but I might be wrong. Oh, 
Um, I have been YouTubing for actually since 2012. years. It's been six years since I started YouTubing. Yeah, my very first video on here is a Homestuck video, and I'm not saying that I dislike Homestuck. I still am a fan of the comics, it's just I have a hard time with the fandom itself. But yeah, six years of YouTubing and I'm really happy that I have grown in those six years and it's because of you guys and you guys have really boosted me up you you guys are amazing and oh, I can't thank you guys enough for your support your likes your comments your subscriptions and your support like your support it means a lot to me and I really want to make the best content that I can for these videos and I really hope this draw my life video can help us grow even more and for you guys to get to know more about me and mom and if you guys want to know more about my illnesses, my chronic illnesses, there will be links to those in the description because I will definitely post, put those that in the description for you guys to read up if you want to read those and how they affect me personally. And it's just like, I don't have a lot of energy nowadays and maybe that's why I haven't uploaded a lot lately and but you guys keep boosting me up with energy and I can't thank you guys enough for that and when you guys watch this video and give me feedback on it I know you guys will be, continue to be here to support me even throughout these challenges because I'm planning on posting or uploading a lot more videos that will support and spread awareness to these chronic illnesses because I have a lot of friends and support group friends and I call them sisters, brothers. who are going through these day by day, just like I am, who need that support and that, that extra thought and prayer, I guess, just to get them through the day. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and Thank you guys again. I mean, I said that again, again, and again. <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought today. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for more content. Links to social media is down in the description. Links to the uh, chronic illness illnesses from Mayo Clinic or whatever are also down in the description and thank you guys again for watching and as always I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.